What up guys? It's your boy Danny Norian and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a new reversing valve on your heat pump system. Right now we are working on this 3 ton heat pump here and we have a bad reversing valve. I got the new one right here, brand spanking new. So first things first is what you want to do is recover all the refrigerant, pretty basic stuff, I've already done that. So I'm we're going to get cut to the chase and start exactly right where the reversing valve is. What we're going to do is take out the old one and how you want to do that is first thing you want to do is take out this coil right here, take this out and then just open up all the brace joints on all the ends and yeah that's the first step. So I got my torch right here, if you guys can see that and I'm gonna get started so stay tuned okay guys I got my torch all set obviously there is no power to the unit I forgot to tell you that but I turned off the first thing I did turn off the system after recovering the refrigerant so let's get started and start brazing up what I'm gonna do is take out the three joints on the other side now of the reversing valve now while I'm doing this, I want to be careful that I don't burn any of the electrical wires that are close to the copper pipes. successfully took out the old reversing valve. I roughly put in my new one. However, this is the hardest part from installing the reversing valve is lining the three lines up to the appropriate spot on the reversing valve. Um, there are different ways you can do it, but before I go any further, what I want to do is apply some of wet rag by Refrigeration Technologies awesome shit just so when I braze I don't ruin any kind of any parts of the bracing valve because I am going to be bracing a lot so on each part where I'm going to be bracing I want to make sure I get some good amount of wet rag stuff is re reusable so be generous on how much you do apply and don't forget the bottom 
not in print. Better safe than sorry, so I like to put a generous amount. Like so. Perfect. Just a little bit more. Push, push, be good. Right on the top here. In case you notice, uh, sorry about that, my camera, my phone dropped. But uh, I like to start with the middle one first and then I go on to the sides just for uh, everything becomes way more steady when you have the middle one, when you base the first one in first. So, middle one, sorry. Okay, guys, I finished the middle one on that end and I also did the middle one on this end on the compressor side and now I'm going to do the two outside ones. First, I'm with this one just because I feel like it, and then I'll do the other one on the other end. And it's funny, I said earlier that be careful not to burn your wires. I already burnt that ground wire, I'm gonna have to reconnect that later. No big deal. Okay, guys, I've done all my brazing. My new solenoid is on. I took off all the wet rag, buddy, brush it off, and I installed my coil back on. And yeah. Now it's getting dark outside as you guys can see. So I'm gonna call it a day. I'll come back tomorrow, pressure test my system, vacuum, do all that jazz, and then start her up. 